Let's now have a look at RSS feeds. RSS feeds are actually allowing you to display other people's content on your web page. So basically from news, sport, weather, technology or whatever, you can actually display the text and the content of other people onto your web page. This is good for the people who are actually creating those RSS feeds because they actually get some free marketing on your web page and basically for your web page is to have something there to actually display. So what I'll do is actually I'm going to be explaining how to use a particular particular plugin which is called RSS aggregator and you can install this uh, plugin as we have done in previous video tutorials just by following the plugins link right here and just searching for the RSS aggregator okay already done that and once you have actually installed and enabled or activated RSS aggregator it will be shown here on the left hand side menu and here you find feed sources add new feed items like list, import and export, settings, debugging add-ons and help and support. Now in this video tutorial what I'll do is I'm going to actually go through all the basic requirements for actually getting some RSS feeds displayed on your web page. So I'm, I'm going to be displaying the core or the basic plugin. So this is the RSS aggregator. However, RSS aggregator has some add-ons or if you would like some widgets which you can actually download first of all you have to purchase them and then download them and use them in some cases those are very useful so what I'll do is quickly I'll hit on add-ons and I'll explain a few of those add-ons the two most important ones that I would suggest are or three the first three so this one will actually give you some will actually show some pictures so thumbnails the second one will enable you to create categories and the third one will actually give you some filtering for the keywords okay so those are I highly recommend those even though they're a bit more expensive but if you're serious about RSS feeds then you should actually have a look at those as well okay so basically let's have a look at my web page at what it looks at the moment okay here's my web page I'm just gonna use the plain theme for this and I have already added some feeds so my feeds here are from the source CNN so basically CNN is actually getting some marketing here on my page and basically I can click on any of these links and that particular story will open up and we are going to see how to actually adjust some of the settings how this actually is displayed and how many items are displayed per page and actually how this opens up so if I was to click on for example this very first one it will actually open in a light box as you can see and here I can read all about this particular feed from CNN okay let me go back to my dashboard and now what I would like to do is go into the settings section if you decide to actually use those pl not plugins but the actual add-ons for this plugin right here you have a couple of tabs and for each of the plugin or each of the add-on you will actually have some options as I'm just using the core the basic plugin this is the options I'm I am actually presented with so I have the general plugin settings if I move a bit more down I have the general display settings then I have the source display settings date display settings and styles all right let's start straight from the top the first option here will actually give you some aging time so basically if you have a feed or a post that's for example two or three or ten days old you will automatically delete it by setting this option here then you'll have some limit feed items per feed so basically how many items are you getting per each feed I set this to five you can set it to any number then you have some sort of a update so you can do it once hourly or you know you can do it twice daily so this will be in, in so this will mean every 12 hours or once daily which I would prefer actually because I'm not actually running or if you're running some news feeds you will probably have it as you know every 15 minutes all right then you have some custom feed URL you can leave it as it is and then you have the title feed so the latest import feed then you have the custom feed limit okay I set it once again to five anonymous tracking you can actually you know enable this if you like to um, help improve the RSS aggregator then you have the log level threshold so you can put it as a default warning notice in for error system none warning and below 
notice I'm below info and below error and below. Then we go into the general display settings. So basically this is how everything is displayed. The first option here is whether or not to link the title. So what that means is, so for example, if I hover, hover over, this is actually a link, all of this. So the titles are actually links and you can leave this as checked or unchecked. Now the next one is the maximum title length. So at the moment I had it 150. So basically how many characters would you like to have here? You can put any number here. So for example, if I was to put 15, and if I move all the way down and hit on save, I go back to my web page and when I refresh it, as you can see the title has actually shrunk down. So basically you can adjust that right here. So I wouldn't leave it as 15 as people who are actually visiting my website cannot see what this title is. So a good idea is to have it, you know, something 150, 100 or whatever actually suits you the best show authors you can actually enable or disable this as well now there's some video feeds and basically this is how you can how you will actually display the video original page link or you can actually have embedded video player link and i suggest this is actually good because it will leave your visitors to your page okay so i would leave it as embedded now this is uh, how you would like your links to be displayed. So at the moment I have older posts and new posts. So this is exactly what I'm talking about, older posts. And if I go and hit on older posts, I do not have any at the moment here, but anyways, if I had more, I would have, uh, once I actually go to that page, I would have newer and older posts. So you can either leave it like older and new, or you can actually go to page numbers with next and previous page links. Once again, we have feed display limits, I set it to five, and then we have the open links behavior. Basically, you can have it in a new window or you can have in a self, okay? If I go into the new window and I hit on save changes, I'll refresh my page. And now when I actually hit on this, it will open in a new tab. Okay, so basically, you know, this might be good, but I strongly suggest you actually keep your visitors to your web page so you either use you either use the light box which I personally prefer or self if I hit on save and save the changes I'll refresh my page and basically if I try to open this link now it will open in this particular uh, window in this particular tab so it will not actually go and change that okay but like I said the best in my personal opinion the best thing is actually to leave this as a light box okay so once again if I hit on save changes I wait for everything to load up and I'll refresh my page when I open this link okay it should open in a light box and it does so basically people can read through all this and once they actually have read all that they can just hit on this exit button and they will actually go back to my web page so this is how you would actually keep your visitors to your own web page and let them read some of the information which is actually coming from other other sources all right source display settings so do you want to show the source so basically there's this bit here you can check it or uncheck it it's totally up to you now text preceding source so once again this is to do this source so you can put you know any sort of uh, text here and usually we put just source or where this is actually coming from and then you have a link source so basically this is just to insert a link okay then you have some display uh, data display settings here which you can actually change and basically you can disable the styles okay so once you're happy with all of this hit on save settings all right so the next thing that i would like to show is basically before we actually go into adding new feeds is a good thing is to check the help and support page here and to go to the documentation area okay here you'll find the short codes and basically these are all the codes that you will use to actually uh, you know make some changes to your feeds and everything else all right those are the core short codes so this is something that we are actually going to use in this video tutorial and then you have your short codes for the rest so basically this is 
uh, for the add-ons that are available and you can actually purchase those as well okay so basically the very easy way to enable your feeds is to use the short codes okay so if I go back to my main page so I'll go to pages and all pages and in the meantime I'll just go and find some of the feeds that I would like to display and basically if you do not know which uh, feeds you would like to display you can just search them on you know on Google or something and you will find a lot of different um, URLs for the actual feeds and for example let's go animal of the day so you would copy this URL and what we'll do is actually uh, we'll go to the RSS aggregator and we'll go to add new in the add new section we'll actually go and paste the URL here limit we'll put it to 5 and you need to enter some sort of information here and so basically this was animal of the day and that's exactly what I'm going to put All right, if we move to the right hand side, uh, we'll find feed preview. So basically force the feed actually means even though if it's saying that the URL you have specified here is incorrect and you're sure that it's correct, you will actually hit on this and that should actually fix the problem. So it should actually display this feed here. Okay, then we have some feed processing, whether or not you would like this feed to be active. So active or paused and then you have the active feed immediately so as soon as I publish this it will actually fetch all of the feeds from this URL uh, pause feeds you can edit that at the moment I have it as never update feeds default and this is something that we have set in the settings before and delete all the feeds feed items and basically you have set this in the settings as well but once again you can actually hit on those edit links here and edit th those particular settings all right down the bottom you'll find some more information about the actual plugin or the actual add-ons to this plugin so like I had like I said before if you're actually serious about RSS and would like to invest a little bit more little bit more money I would strongly suggest you get this one the thumbnails and the categories and the keyword filtering all right so back to our feed I have set up the URL and what I'll do is I'm going to hit on publish feed okay now let's go to the feed sources and you can see that I have two feeds this is the one that I actually actually entered before the CNN and animal of the day we can find the state here so state green means it's active uh, I have the option to actually pause this and basically I have the update so the next update will be uh, within the next seven minutes the last update was one minute ago and the last update imported three items imported items are displayed here okay so if I actually go now to feed items I'll find all the items that I have actually got the feed from all right so the one they have just entered is those three at the bottom so um, island fox pacific white sided uh, pacific white sided dolphin and this one here okay and I actually have the source so where is this imported the first five are imported from the CNN and the last three are actually imported from the animal of the day okay so it looks okay and everything should work fine all right so let's now have a look how to import those onto our web page so first of all let's go to the pages and view all pages and let's look at the home page so this is the one that I'm displaying and all I have to do is insert this particular shortcode so it's a WP underscore RSS aggregator within the square brackets okay so basically now when I actually go and look at my page I will see all of these particular feeds so I'm talking about these feeds here Alright, so I have my five 
CNN feeds and now if I go to the older posts I should have those three from the animal of the day going to the new newer posts I'll have those five displayed there okay so apart from this like I've said there's a blacklist where you can enter some feeds in the backlist uh, as a backlist so those will be blocked import and export if you have something that you would like to share some of your feeds so for example if you have a blog that you're writing you can actually use this option here to export your feeds settings we have seen debugging if we go into the debugging section basically you can update all the feeds you can delete and re-import all the feeds here okay so basically this was a very straightforward introduction and actually uh, a bit of a demonstration into RSS generator, um, sorry, RSS aggregator uh, to actually see how we can use RSS feeds from other web pages to actually enter those onto our web page. Okay, there are also some widgets which are available and widgets which you can use, use on your site. So, for example, you know, one of those very short uh, text or news or something like that that's actually scrolling up and down, and basically you can you know use those to display on your web page as well and most definitely if you are actually using this you will have your theme a bit more well organized but to actually save on time I have actually just gone through how to use the RSS feeds on your web page